Toby, Lauren, and Nell all return for the fourth and final season of Servant. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having us. Aw, thanks. The new season starts on Friday the 13th. I mean, what a perfect day for the series to come back. Yeah, excellent. The first Friday the 13th of the year. Oh, ex exactly. What a way to kick it off. Yeah. And uh, now let's go ahead and chat with you. As far as Leanne Grayson, we're hopefully going to get some answers and some closure. But have you known her storyline since the beginning? Are you getting it and had to keep it a secret? Or are you knowing things piece by piece like the rest of us? I, I learn with you guys. I truly do. I mean, I think it would be unsafe for Apple if they were to tell me everything that happened in the show because I'd be walking around crippled by the fact that at any moment I could I could reveal the truth because I am incapable of not spoiling the show. Um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I just, I learn episode by episode, season by season. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know. I had a... Idea. You speculated a lot, though, didn't you, Nell? You, there's a lot of speculation. <laughs> Nell had running bets through three years that she was going to fly at one point. She's like, I am going to fly. I know it. I just know it. Honestly. Uh, never got paid back. I never got that debt paid. I mean, I know. Uh, I feel like she owes us money because of that flying. Yeah. Although we shouldn't say that is a spoiler in itself. Yeah, who knows? Well, this is really annoying because I could have you on the technicality, but let's we'll talk about it later. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And for Lauren, you, you know, you, I started watching your career. You're in two of my favorite 90s movies, In and Out and Can't Hardly Wait. Um, you know, oh. kind of see you there and, and seeing your journey. And this is the first time you were in a thriller. Um, has this experience kind of changed maybe the trajectory of maybe some of the projects you might look for after this? Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, I just feel like it's a really great piece of the puzzle of this acting life for me. I'm just so grateful to have had this time with these incredible artists and um, and to work in this genre and to work with all of these people um, that that's just been it that part of it's just been a dream um, I just feel like I've been surrounded by incredible collaborators who you're also speaking with and um, yeah <laughs> But we'll have to see what the next project is. And, and Toby, it feels just like yesterday we were talking about the eel scene. Like that mm -hmm. was just like feels like five minutes ago, but it's been, you know, since the first season. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, portraying Sean and, you know, what we can expect from him kind of going into this uh, last season. So I think actually it's a it's a journey back to season one for Sean. You know, he tries. He's just been trying everything right since he lost his sense of taste and and uh, and doing all those things. So it was great to come back to the kind of more stoic, more skeptical kind of version of things uh, that I enjoy so much about Sean, because ultimately that just leads him to the place that he needs to be, which is, you know, persistently telling the truth so that they can deal with that out, you know, that downfall, because that's, I think the thing that he's feared the most is telling the truth and the damage it will do and being honest and being brutally honest. Um, but everything's failing anyway. So I think he's kind of left with that that option, you know, that one option. And, and then for, for Lauren, for you, as far as portraying Dorothy, and obviously, you know, tragic things happen to people all the time, and it kind of changes their, their scope of, of life and scope of everything. Um, have people kind of walked up to you on, on the street or, you know, reached out to you in, in different ways of like, you know, just how eye-opening this, this series was? Um, yeah, you know, I, I when I do encounter people, they, they always feel as I do, just so sorry for Dorothy. And it's just, uh, you know, because she really is sort of this tragic character, even though she's like deeply flawed human, um, you know, that just the fact that she's, she's so, I, I mean, I just, I love about this character that it's like this crazy perfectionist wearing all these masks and not, not, you know, pr very presentational in her life. And then when those moments where you, 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 see her crack open are really uh you know it's just so sad and then just to you know i'm i'm grateful that people sort of um feel sorry for her because she really has been awful mean buried leanne alive like d you know d did unspeakable miserable things so um yeah i'm glad that they see the humanity in the character as, as well <laughs> it's amazing. All right. Well, we can't we not wait to watch the fourth and final season of Servant. And Nell, make sure you collect all those debts. If there, you know, if there's some things that are there that they still owe you on, you know, you got to make sure to collect those. She them. owes she us. Owes she owes you. Owes the, other us. Way around. <laughs> the only person who flew was Lauren at the end of season three. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, that's true. Thank you, Toby. I did the flying. January 13th on Apple TV Plus. Thank you so all so much for your time today. Pleasure. Thank you, man. Bye. Bye. Thank you.